Well, although it's winter time here and the temperatures are a little bit lower than they normally are, I do still have my heater running and um, had quite a few molts this past month. Um, a couple I'm really pretty excited about. Uh, first one I'm going to show is my Formicta species blue. Picked her up from Stamps Tarantulas as part of a pair. The male molted about uh, two weeks ago and this one molted about three days ago. So I'm just going to carefully open this one up. Now again, I, I know I'm always talking about there we go, the Permictopus species. These guys put on so much size, as I try to click on this girl so we can get a better view of her. They put on so much size in between molts. Um, right now, she's probably pushing about five inches. Before the molt, she was, I'm guessing, probably about four, maybe even less. I mean, it's just it's it's not just the length they put on, but the, the girth of the limbs and the body. I mean, they really put on a lot of size. So she's started to solidify a little bit. We get a better shot of her here. She's been stretching out, doing her spider yoga. There we go. And hopefully what comes across on the camera is some of the uh, bluish hue. I mean, I have a lot of the Formictopus species, and the Canceritas especially seem to all have all different colors, even if they're from the same uh, clutch of eggs. But uh, this one's definitely looking a little more unique than some of my other species. So very excited to see her mold. She had a bald spot, and I, I have this thing against bald spots, so I'm so glad that that's gone now. Another couple days, she'll be um, getting nice and fattened up on a nice fat dubia roach or hissing cockroach. Let me put the lid back on for this girl. She'll be getting a new enclosure pretty soon, too, because of how much size she put in. Actually, now I'm looking at it, she's probably over five inches. And this one I'm particularly proud of and excited about, which is my... Um, Avicularia versa color. I've had this one since about a 0.5 inch, 0.4 inch sling. Um, hopefully some of her new colors will show. Oh my god, just gorgeous. Um, I love colorful spiders. Um, I really like the Avicularia species because they're just kind of gentle and fuzzy looking. And this one's been a true sweetheart. She'll be getting a new enclosure. I was actually going to rehouse her recently and noticed that she was in pre-molt, so held off on it. I'm guessing now she's about four and a half inches or so. As you can see, she just molted. And, oh my God, the purples, the pinks, the carapace, I'm hoping that shows up. There we go, is just spectacular. Uh, this one will be getting rehoused. I'm looking at probably, she's going to be a showcase spider. She's just too darn pretty to hide in a uh, Tupperware enclosure, although I have some nice ones. I want something I can really see her. So I'm thinking she's probably going to get one of Jamie's enclosures. I'll splurge, pick it up. I, I like them. I have my Avicularia Metallica in one. Um, they just look so pretty when they're set up, and she likes to sit right out in the open. So it'll be a wonderful little showcase uh, piece for my collection. Let's see if I can get a little closer. Just gorgeous. So two new molts, you know, some of the bigger spiders. It's uh, I, I have to say I I have literally seen hundreds of tarantulas molt. It doesn't lose its novelty. It's just when you see one molt, you get so excited about it. You can't wait to see what the new colors are, what the new size is going to be. Um, so for people that are like, oh, you must get bored of it, not at all. Love it. Love looking in, seeing that somebody molted or seeing somebody is in pre-molt. Um, it's just one of the, the more fascinating and fun parts of the hobby.